The holiday season is upon us and the lights are shining bright on Candy Cane Lane for all to see. Torrance City Cable reporter Abby Grimion gives us a preview. As the proverbial stars shone brightly in Candy Cane Lane, people from all across the Southland came in to admire and awe. It was the first time for Hawthorne resident Crystal Jones and Atlanta resident Janae Brown, who until now had never experienced anything quite like this before. Actually, I yelped it and I found out that it started today at 6, so I'm here to bring them. And she leaves, she leaves tomorrow, so I wanted to take her out. It looks very nice. I've never seen this before. I moved to Atlanta last year from New York, but either way, I've never seen anything like this. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices as young and old admire the beauty in the night. <laughs> uh, we come here every year and it's amazing. We get hot cocoa and just hang out oh, with friends, walk down to see all these beautiful lights. Sometimes like when me and my mom like go shopping, we kind of see the lights like a bit. It's pretty. And there was much discussion amongst the children I talked to about how many lights there actually were in Candy Cane Lane. Mm, a thousand. How many do you think? Uh, two million. Sixty-seven? Um, six. Six. <laughs> and as many across the Southland come to Torrance to visit Candy Cane Lane, it's a great reminder at the end of the year that all of our days should be merry and bright. For Torrance City Cable, I'm Abby Grimion. Thanks, Abby. If you stop by the area, guests are encouraged to park outside of Candy Cane Lane and walk the neighborhood. Also be aware of congestion and follow traffic laws. Residents ask that trash be disposed properly and to visit between the hours of 6 p.m. and 10.